potential for a breakout at some point. Looks like it's on a better line. That'd be the CJ Cup in South Carolina where he finished second. Oh, look at this thing tracking. It's one of the better ones we've seen today. Kurt Kitayama here for his birdie. Playing alongside Grillo. Oh, he gets to three under. Nice tempo to that stroke and a pretty good car there. Birdies on both the par fives on this back nine. And he's got a three under round going as he gets ready to make the turn here. Oh, is right on the very front left portion. Oh man, Kitayama will have another birdie as he makes the turn. Over at the fourth, this was a moment ago, Kitayama for birdie to tie the lead at five under. He's finishing up over on that front side. And Kitayama has done it, another one. And we've got four tied at the top at five under, and he's still got five holes left. Palmer Cup teammates voted him as the guy that deserved to be here. Now Kitayama with his third. This is a fun shot for a tour player when you have this angle and that yardage. That is a wheelhouse. That's mostly 84, 75, something like that. You see that club drop pretty upright on the backswing. It's Gets pretty good. Laid down and right at it. Oh my right goodness. Right at it. Is oh this my going goodness. in? Oh! <laughs> Oh, nearly a one for Kitayama, and it'll be an easy two here. Well, we saw Kitayama's beautiful seven iron there. That's the closest shot of the day, just a foot away. Kurt Kitayama. Started out right at the flagstick. Yeah, good line and good distance. What a good shot. That is actually, it's one of the best of the day here at the eighth. Over at the first, Kitayama drove it down the left-hand side of the fairway. He can hit it really high. Downwind, firm green on one. That's a prudent play there. A lot of folks have tried to attack that thing and found themselves in the back bunker. It's pretty flat down here. Maybe just a touch downhill. Yeah, buried. Other side of the golf course, Kitayama is at the fifth. Playing back into the breeze on five. And nicely done to that front hole location. Kurt Kitayama can grab a piece of the lead here at the fifth. This is a simple read back up the hill. Yeah. He has pretty much had a stress-free day, Kurt Kitayama. These tough conditions, but no one better than Kurt Kitayama. Second at 11. He's made just two bogeys in his first two rounds. Bogeyed his final hole yesterday, the ninth, which is a tough hole. Nearly hold that one out. Got to just keep on trucking. Kind of like this man has been doing. Stress-free is how you describe the day. My golly, that could have been like eight iron into this par five downwind. And a gem. Launched straight up into the heavens and Kitayama. Two mighty blows into the 12th for Kitayama, just 20 feet remaining for Eagle. And not a difficult read whatsoever. Just kind of cozied that one down there. Understandable. He's had a few of those stress-free tap-ins for birdie today. Pretty straightforward shot for Kitayama from the greenside bunker at 13. And he obliged. There it comes. A beautiful swing. You see, once again, watch that bunker swing. Cup line just slipped back to even par, by the way. Exactly 65 players at even or better. It will be in constant flux this afternoon. That was nice, Kurt Kitayama. Get his tee shot into the bunker here at 17. A fine shot to escape. 
and polishes it off. And final approach of the afternoon into the 18th for Kitayama, the leader. Good drive, just a wedge in hand. He can play some offense. And he did. That's brave, even downwind to land short of that whole location. Finishing up at 18 in style, he birdied it yesterday. It made it two threes at the par four. And Kurt Kitayama with rounds of 67 and 68. But he's right there still tied. Sounded like good contact starting at the right side, turning towards the center. Just over. With his third chance to pay it off and pick up his first birdie of the day. That's got plenty of speed. And a good one. Yep, that's a super shot. Over at the 10th, Kitayama for birdie. Yep, disappointing wedge. Way offline and a chance oh. to make it pay anyway. Maybe that's the igniter that Kitayama was looking for and has been looking for. There's that tough start. Hit it out of bounds at four double. Now this was good. Now he grimaced when he hit the wedge because it was this far wide to the right, but buried that putt like it just doesn't matter. You know, the key. And uh, Ricky, nice enough to chat with us on the 16th. As you look at Kitayama over here. And his T ball. ball trying to fit it into a very narrow area. And he did just that. That is really well done, and he's getting some roll out as well. He loves this tee shot. Boy, no kidding. He hit eight iron here to 12 yesterday. Online just didn't get the roll out, but well done. You have to decide how far you want to fly it. You know, I mean, this is a decision that's not easy to make, and he kind of kept his shoulder. No problem there. Good up and down. He started this round three with a two shot lead. He was nine under after two days. We're up the right side, turning over a little bit. Should be one of those hot ones, too. Boy, inside that bunker, that is a great line and a, an excellent drive for Kitayama. Good target, just right of it. Looks like he tried to save that one, Kurt, oh, but just right of the flag. Yeah, I think he did. He did save it. It was late, but he saved it. He's going to have that for Eagle. Chance to take the outright lead for Kitayama. Did he get it there? Right on line for Eagle. And that tap in for Birdie gives him a share with Scheffler and Hovland. Taking it just left a little bit. A little right kick, maybe. Not much, but a little. That's a very, very fast putt. He'll be on defense from up there. And that is nine under and your 54 hole leader. What a way to finish really has been able to figure this putt out. Roller coaster ride for Kitayama. Hit his ball out of bounds off the tee at four. Went out in 39. This is that fast going away shot here at the second. Ricky Fowler made this same exact shot earlier today though, so you just gotta get it going down toward the hole. Try to get the speed right somehow. That's not gonna be straight uphill. It's gonna be a little bit more of a right to left motion, right? Absolutely. Kitayama now with a very difficult six footer, a lot of right to left in this. Mm. Co-leader Kurt Kitayama from just about 30 feet on the third. Wow, <laughs> how about that? So Kitayama does not seem at all as if this situation is too big for him, at least not so far. 
starting at the right side of the green, turning over a little bit towards the center to see what kind of club it is. Oh, man. And that hit soft enough where he's going to be one of those rare guys, Zing, to reach it in two. Well, that's why he's in the last group, Dan, because all week long he's been hitting shots like that. He's been number one, Kurt Kitayama or McElroy or Spieth. It won't matter. He has yet to birdie this hole this week, and this for Eagle. You know, in contrast, I really think it spurs players like Spieth and McElroy along to have those big crowds, which they they're used it. to. They absolutely feed off of it. Yeah, well, he's going to have to embrace some big crowds coming in, and he acknowledged it in his press conference yesterday. He's two shots clear of all those big boys. You kind of your concerns are like, how am I going to hit it? How am I going to do this and that? But in reality, it's how am I going to lag putt today? How is my speed going to be? <laughs> That's what's most important. What a putt, Kurt Kitayama. That didn't even hit the pin. It went in so softly. How you like that? Well, zing. Well, I don't know if that's a lag putt if it goes in, is it? Well, he was well, lagging. That's <laughs> pretty <laughs> impressive. If you can't lag at the right speed, Bradley, on a Sunday. Very sticky, straight downhill. Oh, just lobbed it out of there, just onto the green. This is actually pretty good. Not bad. Tough to control coming out of that, going straight downhill. Down the road, and now Kitayama for par. Harris English made all par so far today. What a save that is, Kurt. And Kitayama to save par. Yeah, right in the heart. Good putt. So he's tied for the lead. Kitayama for par at 15. Walks it in. And that is six straight pars since that triple bogey at the ninth. Slayed that demon. Back to 16. Kitayama, second shot. 203. Down win. You can take at least 20 off that for adrenaline and the helping wind. At the center of the green, this is eight iron. Okay, he'll be dealing with quite a bit of slope on that. He can loft it too, like Scotty Scheffler. Is he going to go left or go right at it? And that's way up there. Beautiful look on the tracer, and it's right at it. What a beautiful shot there for Kurt Kitayama. And he'll have that putt to get to nine under par. That's Azinger's prediction. Look at this leaderboard. Four players at inner par. Kurt Kitayama right in the center of the cup with some pace. He's a junkyard dog, isn't he? Holy cow, man. Give me that bone. Heading over to 18 with a one-shot lead, Brad. Let's look at it again. Long backstroke. Great transition. Fired up. Look at the standard bear. He almost fell down. Show us your game! Let's go! Headed at that front side of the green. If it releases, what a shot. Yep. Couldn't draw it up any better. Two putts from there, and Kitayama. He might just pour it in. Oh, wow. And he is about ready to take down the biggest stars on the PGA Tour. Step aside, all you superstars. Kitayama's in the winner's circle finally on the PGA Tour. A deserving champion. The pressure was on him all day today, all day yesterday. He handled it. Thanks for watching the PJ Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.